Hey guys, it's Lindsay from the blog Repurpose and Upcycle, and I want to hop on here and talk to you real quickly about primer and why you use primer, especially if you are uh, getting ready to paint an older piece of furniture. Uh, when I first started painting furniture, that was my biggest mistake that I made was I would jump straight to the paint, especially chalk paint. I would be like, you know, chalk paint doesn't need to be sanded, it doesn't need anything. But that's not entirely true. Okay, number one rule, if you have an older piece of furniture that has been stained or even painted, if you're gonna paint over that, please use a primer. Even if you're using something like a chalk paint that says, you know, doesn't require sanding or any prep work, it is best to use a primer. And the reason why, um, I like to say that primer is kind of like, when you lay floors, it's kind of like a moisture barrier. It's that barrier where nothing underneath is gonna seep up to the, um, the, the new layer. And not, not saying that primer is gonna keep the wood away from water, I'm just saying that, say you have an old paint job, um, you can see I'm sanded this and I'm in the middle of uh, making over this TV stand, but I wanted to show you guys, I painted this about five years ago, I'm gonna tell on myself here, uh, I did not use primer, I just used a milk paint. Uh, milk paint is sort of similar to chalk paint in that they say it doesn't re really require any prep work, Unfortunately, this had a previous stain job before I put the milk paint on and some of that stain after a few years did seep through the paint and you would see these like these round spots. And that's why sometimes when you see paint and furniture, it, it at first it looks really good, but then it starts to um, you'll start seeing round spots and it. it almost looks like uh, wet spots. But what that is, that's called bleed through. That's where the old stain or even an old wet spot will come through that new paint. And after a while, it doesn't look very good. So that's where a good primer is uh, very important. That primer will almost seal the wood. So when you put that new paint over top of it, uh, it'll look consistent, it'll look clean, and it should stay that way for years. I was gonna show you, if, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. Now I've sort of sanded this and it's not a great paint job, uh, but there were, there were a few small pieces of bleed through. You can kind of see it here, but I'm going back before I paint this TV stand again, and I'm gonna use um, a, a really good primer that I like. I'm not promoting this product, it's just something that I've used and, I, and I, it's been really successful for me. It's, it's Kiehl's 3 Premium Primer. Uh, they have different levels. The 3 Primer is um, it's really the heavy duty primer that seals in not only stains and bleed through, but it also seals in the smells. So you know when you get an old piece of furniture and you're like, how do I get rid of that smell? Sometimes a good primer will do the trick. Now that's not the case with this. I just really wanna block against bleed through because I don't want the same thing happening with this new paint that happened with my old paint. But really that was my fault for not using the primer. So anyway, I wanted to hop on and give you guys just a quick tip. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want more tips like that. Thanks guys, bye.